I was very happy to hear the first speaker because they have said almost everything I will show you. Yeah. The important for this topic is to not confuse alignment and balance. Uh, 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 and to, to, to go to alignment and balance. Because uh, in human standing, you must, you must mix alignment and balance. One is static and the other is dynamic. So on the x-ray, <clears throat> when you see uh, this patient, uh, the alignment is not so good, uh, but uh, what about balance? When you use the uh, EOS imaging system, you have the advantage <clears throat> to see the patient not only front back, but you see also the horizontal plane. And it is very important to understand the importance of this horizontal plane. You see, when you see X-ray of this patient, not so bad, but uh, your eyes are, 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 are adapted to, to, to the instruments. But uh, when you see from the top and from the back and from the bottom, it is not exactly the same. And you see where the alignment is not so perfect. So to simplify, one of my fellow uh, uh, design the uh, vertebral vector that you see here on the 3D vertebral vector, uh, able to quantify. And you see the aspect of the normal spine of the right thoracic scoliosis pre and post-op. And uh, when you say, when you look to the same Lenke one group, uh, if you uh, uh, subtract, put, put them uh, in various cases, uh, you have, uh, you know, the lumbar modifier, the sagittal modifier described by Larry, but you need an horizontal uh, modifier. When you see this patient that was already treated with uh, interspinous uh, device uh, and uh, uh, that was treated by transpedicular osteotomy, this was done by my friend Jean-Marc Vital in Bordeaux. When you see the view from the top demonstrates the good alignment, uh, but the balance with me judge only when motion and function. We must get dynamic recording to get the mobility stability. So you have the EOS imaging system, you have the force plate uh, uh, measurement, and you have the dynamic motion analysis to have this dynamic evaluation of the balance and function. Because uh, a balance uh, static or dynamic is the stability within the movement. You have to take it of course, globally or lo locally, remembering that global and lo local are permanent, permanently linked, sometimes for worsening, sometimes for compensation. But think always that never treat one, ignoring the other. You have, you know very well, the complication cascade that can occur af after uh, only an herniated disc. And uh, uh, it is evident that the erect posture in human is characterized by three major elements. Uh, uh, the chain of balance with uh, cephalic vertebra and horizontal gaze. You have the, the, the very big importance of the pelvic vertebra that can uh, move and compensate, as you see, and this drive to the cone of economy, of course. That is a very important concept. Because the concept of the uh, cephalic vertebra, you know, the postlemelectomy and the swan neck deformity that you can get when you see this patient that was a congenital myopathy. myopathy. She was obliged to hold his, uh, his head uh, before the surgery of the spinal deformity uh, by the hand. After she was uh, aligned correctly, uh, you see the head was holding by itself. So the reverse pend pendulum concept is uh, very important as well as the con concept of the uh, uh, vertebra, pelvic vertebra as uh, 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 intercalary bone. The, the erect posture was acquired progressively during infancy and childhood, the result of harmonious bone and joint alignment, 
during motion, thanks to neurological input, reflex, and acquired automatism was learned during infancy and childhood. It is the, the, it is the uh, balance. And uh, uh, if you think to this patient, this, this child uh, climbing the stair, you have the mechanical requirements, the chain of joint in the space must work. You have the muscle function, antagonist and agonist, strength, power, relaxation, modulation, speed, acceleration, braking, and the neurological requirement, of course. Vision, very important. ENT, proprioception, you have the modulation by coordination and double task with the cognition, that is a very important thing. And you have at the end of the composite uh, chain in the space, the effector uh, about speed transmission. And, and reaction. So the global, the first uh, consequence is that the global balance is evidently neurological, proprioception, visual afference, and you, you, you see the tractography of the visual route when you see so many junctions inside the brain. And uh, of course, the vestibulo uh, labyrinthic efference. Uh, and here you see very well on this very nice drawings that uh, for me summarize uh, uh, the integrative centers that are from brain level, mid brain level, cerebellum, spinal cord, and the effector system, the oculomotor system with the stabilization uh, for the body and the gaze. And the two second major conclusion is coming from the clinic that the disorder of this balance are often automatically correct by compensation. You have the compensation, very big characteristic of the human nature, biological, metabolic, and for example, orthopedic level, lumbar lordosis compensate, inflection contracture, knee flexion, abduction of the shoulder compensate a, a, a pronation defect. And aging, uh, uh, you see that with aging, the pelvic retrogression come, but it is compensated by knee flexion, lumbar lordosis, and you see this drawing very uh, uh, clear, clearly uh, uh, demonstrated. And remember also that the loss of extension of the hip joint as a consequence, this was demo demonstrated clearly by Isvant Overka with the hip extension reserve. It is why from time to time, a total hip will resolve the problem of low back pain because it compensates a moderate loss of the lumbar lor lor lordosis. And this explains many immediate or secondary failures. For example, when you have a hip flexion contracture, of course, you have the change of the orientation of the pelvis. So remember, the hip extension reserve is important. Each person has a specific morphotype of the spine, and you, you, you know why uh, the incidence uh, Angle was described by Madame Duval Beaupère, and you, you know very well the four sagittal type uh, of the spinal alignment in the population. Uh, uh, it is one of the factors of the chain of balance with this big uh, genetic penetrance that you can get. And remember that this is not always. Uh, 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 the incidence angle may change. And uh, you, you saw, we did an experience for 30 idiopathic scoliosis uh, fused only on the thoracic area down to uh, 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 L1 or L2 ma ma maximum. And when we measure the posture and the movement after the fusion, we see that it was a change very important uh, and Go, going to showing that the compensation come uh, from the movement of the pelvic vertebra. And we saw in this uh, survey that 50% of the case had a modification of the pelvic angle incidence angle up to 11 degrees. So uh, 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 the, the, the real question of, of the balance is uh, uh, a question of the piling up of the body regarding the gravity axis, axis, but mainly of the mass, the mass, not only of the angle. So because the head, thorax, abdomen, pelvis are mass, 
and uh, the ignorance of the concept was uh, explaining many of uh, uh, failure that you can get because you have a calculation only on the projected angle, not on the mass. And for example, this uh, uh, transpedicular os osteotomy uh, would uh, not so bad sagittal alignment, but you, you will know uh, the result on the balance, uh, uh, not immediately on the X-ray that you to show, but it is uh, uh, taking count uh, uh, the afference, uh, the integration, the effector below, in between, above. And uh, so uh, remember that it is necessary, and it was already said very clearly, uh, uh, and the last speaker demonstrated the importance of all uh, uh, the, the brain function uh, uh, to uh, to test the, the, the result. Long time ago, uh, in in two thousand uh, in two uh, uh, two thousand eleven, some similar like that in Miami, I describe the spine like a statue. It is this long instrumentation when you see here. And uh, uh, when you do that, uh, you have a very high risk. You have only motion at the cervicothoracic uh, uh, and at the hip junction. It is why, in many cases, you see this so-called PGK uh, and uh, uh, hip pelvic junction failure. And uh, uh, when you have uh, uh, this head, this for example, if in your plan you do too much lumbar lordosis you remember you, you see that your upper part of the of the of the spine is pulled on the back and after to recover uh, 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 a, a gravity line it is necessary to have a, a, a pgk so it is uh, do to the uh, spinal imbalance of the head, of the mass of the head. So it, don't, don't be addicted by the angle. R think about mass, uh, uh, it is important. Upper ju junctional kyphosis, not a question of oh, screw, wire, ligament, connector, everything. It's a comprehension of the chain of balance, uh, uh, local balance of the cephalic ver ver vertebra. So, uh, why? Why is this occur? Uh, because the, the, the pre-op were, were done uh, purely static with ignorance of the amplitude uh, and uh, uh, to, to know exactly the possibility of compensation above and below the fusion zone. And when you ignore the mass of the head uh, and the thorax of the pelvis and the lower limb, you you, you 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 are looking on on the pure pure projection of the alignment but you don't know about the exact active possibility so you need some to to to, to measure this uh, this dynamic you have to make coupling of the uh, aos imaging uh, of the reconstruction of the uh, of the me measurement of the force plate to, to try to approach the, the, the dynamic balance in the space, in the, spy, in the space, and uh, to approach uh, this uh, cone of economy that I described long, long time ago. Because you see, uh, for example, for, 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 for this patient, you, you follow with time the patient, and it is very useful for uh, aging people that with time you have uh, extension amplitude uh, uh, of, of the spine, very almost symmetrical to the amount of flexion. And slowly and slowly you keep flexion good, but you, you, you lose uh, amplitude of extension. And with the time you, you, you become unbalanced then critical then uh, overstep. So it is necessary to try if you follow this very clearly, uh, uh, to, to, to choose the time to do surgery before, not only as a cardio, pulmonary, uh, etc., function uh, 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 disappear, but uh, also 
to, to try to, to do the surgery before too much correction. It is why it is necessary to measure, this was already said by previous speaker, but I, I will emphasize this, to measure the, 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 the in standing as well in lying position, the active movement uh, 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 total ex, uh, segmental uh, head, cervical spine, spine, and also at the same same level, same thing, hip joint to keep the possibility of adaptation and compensation. So prevention, for, for me, four factors, very important. Never stop the, the uh, upper uh, instrumentation or the junctional vertebra, because the junctional vertebra is always the most instable. Uh, and you, shave the, you check the active posture band bending head upper thoracic spine, including the scapular girdle with the uh, humeral heads. You check the lumbar thoracolumbar. Uh, if you, you, in your plan, you, 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 the lumbar spine is not be plain, not be plain to, to be fused, you must check the active lumbar lordosis of the patient. And if you have to fuse down to uh, uh, the, the sacrum, you must check also uh, 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 the amount of lordosis and then the, the incidence angle have some importance, but never forgot the hip extension reserve that is uh, as important in passive or in, in active. And this is, uh, it's easy and, and uh, uh, when you have a, a research lab, when you have all the tools, but you don't have this in, in, your, in your clinic uh, easily. So for me, it's an important thing to check uh, uh, the, the patient with a simple chron chronometer. Uh, you can do this in, in your clinic. Speed and walking five meters straight forward backwards. Speed and ease to climb three stairs and go down. And for me, the most discriminant is the speed and is to squat on the floor and get up. But never forgot to make this uh, uh, very easy uh, testing is to working with, while you are speaking on the telephone, or for example, uh, you speak one, two, three, or you, you, you speak uh, 90, uh, 90, uh, one with one, uh, with two, with three, uh, everything. And you have the double task that give you an idea of the condition of the, of, of the patient. So never forgot this. So for me, uh, you, you must check your, your planning. At is was said, uh, even for the post-operative evaluation, not only on static picture on X-ray, but on the dynamic me measurement. For me, the dynamic balance in the space is a key for the longevity of the spinal unit remaining. And you remember that I, I did this drawing for the CD instrumentation in 1983. Uh, I want that uh, uh, I, I demonstrate on the sagittal plane here, but you have to, to things that is occurring in the three dimension uh, uh, to get the, uh, the balance, uh, the unbalance in one direction or in other one. So you must uh, uh, have the, the, the bone and joint status, alignment mobility, the muscle power, and this is important, and uh, the coordination with the neural system, neurological system with the vision vestibular, proprioception, coordination, and the efferent. And uh, uh, you have to, to check this uh, to every of your patient becoming slowly and slowly old, uh, as soon as 45 year old. And uh, then to prevent this, uh, you can have uh, proper nutrition, of course, 
if you have to do surgery at that time is necessary, of course, to do. You make the correction of the various levels that you have. Uh, uh, you must uh, have daily physical exercise sufficient in time and, and intensity, not performance, but exercise. And uh, uh, you have, uh, of course, uh, to have your control and correct vision and uh, especially good, good foot, uh, uh, shoes, and physical ex exercise in two directions, proprioception and vestibular. And ne never forgot the cognitive rehabilitation with double task. And of course, be very careful, and this was said all, all also by Jens, at, at, at the begin as the first talk, be careful with the medical drugs, of course, that change this. And uh, aging uh, uh, does uh, exercise has some influence on the result. And you must remember this work uh, in 2013 for uh, a big number of patients. Uh, with a mean age 76 year old people, uh, half were doing uh, uh, daily exercise, balance, tai chi, and uh, the other half was not doing such exercise. And in the, in the case that were exercise group, 40% less fall and 61% less fracture in the exercise group. And we did uh, a meeting at the uh, uh, National Academy of Medicine about the muscles in uh, uh, January 2000. And we demonstrate here clearly that the satellite cells are able to activate and multiply in the muscle. Uh, of course, when you are very young, you have 45, 65 division at five year old, and, but you are still at 15. You have still at 31 year, but even at 80 year old, even 86 year old, you have still division demonstrating that, uh, of course, exercise is very Im important. So don't mix, don't, don't uh, 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 remember that you, you, you have not to. Uh, to, to, to speak about balance uh, when you say an X-ray. Uh, alignment and balance are very, very important thing. They are not uh, uh, opposed, they are complementary. A good alignment is preferable to have a good balance, but not sufficient. It needs a 3D balance. Of course, just in 3D with uh, the polygon of support uh, with the entire chain of balance, but also needs compensation, passive and active, and big needs the, the reaction, action reaction on the neurological uh, uh, point of view. This is the uh, result of, of the balance. And uh, 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 remember that with uh, Jean-Pierre Farsi, <laughs> long time ago, we, uh, we say that uh, aging starts on your birthday and a good health for elderly is prepared during childhood and afterward. So you have so many things that uh, entering on the balance, mechanics, hearing, vision, emotion, vestibule, proprioception, thalamus, hormone, and bone and nerve function. So. It is only the, 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 the message that don't mix alignment and balance. Thank you.